So I made a large sneaker for the sneaker gala. And then I posted it. And normally when I post something, people like it. So I'm gonna make another one to let everybody know how I made this sneaker for centerpieces for the table. So I printed out my picture of my sneaker. It's a whole, not close to a whole 11 by 17, but it's a nice size picture because it's for a man's party. So I got one this way. I'm going to reverse the other one and put it that way. And then I'm putting them both in laminated so, shapes. It's my for my job want me to do centerpieces for the table. So this is the centerpiece that I did. So I got, I'm going to do a darker blue one. Nike one. And one facing this one facing that way. No, I didn't use the Cricut machine or the Cricut design space. I saved it to my phone and then I send it straight to the large wire format printer with the Epson um the Epson app. When you buy an Epson, it comes with an app. And with the app, you can just print directly from your phone without all the extras. So this is 11 by 17. Sneakers are probably about big enough for Shaq because it's size 15. So I'm going to laminate the front and back and then I'm going to cut them out with my by hand. And the laminated machine right here and the laminated machine prints up to 13 by 19 that I ordered. I left the link for it in one of my last videos. So I'm going to do both of those and then once I get everything together, I'm going to cut it out and make this giant shoe. going to have some other type, probably some boxes to go on the bottom or something like that. But stay tuned. Hey. So it's still laminating. Hello, hey. husband. He did the uh, stash bear for y'all on the video. He's looking to do another one soon. Say hi to everybody. Hi, Facebook friends. Thanks. A long time and I put a YouTube people. YouTube, <laughs> YouTube people. Long time and I put a video. Up. Me know no longer see me. Me I come out back. You come out back. Okay. Me I gonna do the right thing this time. All right, then. Uh, Seventeen laminated is already done. I'm gonna take and cut it out with the scissors. The whole shoe gets cut out with the scissors. This is a big shoe. I can make this shoe smaller. But with a six foot table, I think it's best to have the bigger shoe. That way, it'll take up some space on the table. Don't you think? Okay. Well, we're making big shoes. Big spinning shoes. And I, and I called her and asked her, can she see if she got any Nike sneaker boxes in there? So we can pile, like, put some sneaker boxes on the table with some of these large shoes. So now I'm just lining up my shoes to make sure my cuts are the same so they can line up when I put them on the foam boards. What? Move some of these things out of the way. So this board right here is what I'm gonna be using. I buy this foam board from Home Depot. It costs $15 for an eight foot sheet that will go a long way for $15. So I'm just gonna take some E6000 and I'm gonna glue this shoe to this side. Then once I cut out just the back part in this part here, then I'll add the next shoe to it. And that way we have it matching and i'm just gonna take some glue and just go around the edges with with this wow. don't touch it don't touch just it. go around the edges don't touch it tookie boogie you touch it, it? no don't touch it because it got glue on there you won't get in your fingers it just it tastes nasty you don't want that in your mouth do you baby no yeah no so just add glue all the way around. It takes a while for this glue, but you don't have to use this glue. You can use any glue you want. This is what I have available. So this is what I'm going to use. Just, I should have had the, <coughs> the 
other one because it comes out a whole lot more. Now I can use a popsicle stick to smear it in. That's good enough. Good. Woo. Yeah, that's a lot of work, baby. And then I'm going to put this on the foam. It has plastic on this on here. So it'll stick nicely. It's thick. Yeah. Let it stick. So let that stick for a few minutes. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. I thought it get circle. I don't want you to touch it, baby. Don't touch it. I don't want you to touch it. So I'm going to let that sit for a little bit, and then I'm going to start cutting it. And wait a minute. Let me show y'all what I'm going to be using. I ordered this. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Don't pull all that information tape out, girl. That costs money. That's what makes you say it costs money, Grandma Boo Boo. So, come on, come on, get past. Go get your pajamas on. It's cold in here. So, this is what I ordered. It's a foam cutter from Amazon. You can put this one in here and use this cutter. It comes from Amazon. It, it just goes. What? It's broken. Yeah, I took I cut it off. Go get your stuff. So, you can put this on. I might use this one because it has a nice fine tip. So I might use that one and you just push it in there. The plug is already plugged in and I'll just push the plug in there and when it get hot because it comes with a switch and everything I will be able to cut it nicely along the plastic on the sneakers to give it that perfect cut. So as soon as it's dry a little bit we'll do that. Y'all see how fast that thing got hot? When I tell you, normally I don't do stuff in here with the grandbaby around. Because I don't want her getting, nobody get hurt on my watch. But she about to go to bed. And I make sure I moved it out of the way. Then I say, don't drink no soda. Where your soda? Ain't your soda downstairs? Where your soda at? I don't. Go downstairs and get it and put your pajamas on. It looks like I got everything lined up pretty good. It looks like the right size for both sides. So, right here, it looks like I left a little extra, but, you know, you can always go back and clean it up. And clean it up. So, I'm going to let this sit for a few minutes, and then I'm going to plug that back up. But I'm going to go get her pajamas on and get her settled for her tablet to go to bed. And I'll be back. She's gone. So I'm going to go here and start taking off some leftovers. This drawing is perfect. I'm going to leave the link. Look how nice and smooth that is. It give you that nice finished clean look. Go ahead and cut around here. everything match up nicely and sometimes one side might not be match up perfect to the other side but it looks like I got it let me do the front of it to see if the front actually lets that add up because we want everything and like I said you can Take it closest to the lamina that she just, if you want, as a guide. All right, that's lined up pretty good. And then I'm just going to push it in there and start cutting pieces out.
It's a little difficult when you're trying to cut that piece out, but it's all right. Let me go around here and cut this out. So now when y'all little, when the kids want sneaker themed parties, y'all can make it look like this. All right, so I'm gonna take this one out and do a long, a long one because I gotta cut the board because it's in my way. And what happened to the box? There we go. That's a good thing about this one that you can switch the pieces out. So you switch the pieces out. And like I said, it's going to get hot right away. This one take a little longer to get hot. It's getting there, just take a little longer. See, it's ready now. So let's just go across. I don't know, some, this thing I get don't get as hot as the other one. This one, this one not hot at all. You gotta push it all in. Ready? Are you ready? Oh, man, it's hot. Ooh. I'm gonna burn myself a bit. This one will give you more raking. Why you keep sending her in here and I'm trying to do a damn video? Oh, you doing the video? Give her the tablet. Oh, come on. Come on. You okay, Cookie? Okay. Alright. Gotta be a little patient with this. So I had to cut the piece off. So, so far I got a nice clean cut all the way around. Here, I'm just gonna go along the corners here and clean up some of these edges. Uh, just clean up the edges. That's all. That's all I wanna do. Just clean up, clean up the edges. To give it that good clean cut. And like I said, the laminated sheet is so thick. It's not even really cutting the, the laminated sheet at all. It's only cutting the foam. Cause it's not really a, it's not a plastic cutter. It's a foam cutter. All right. All right, so all that part is done. Got a little more cleaning up to do. This process, just gotta be a little patient with it. And um, it turned out perfect. Let's do some cleaning up. See how nice that is? All right, now let's go and cut this. And all the sizes should match.
And there you go. You got the sneaker. Everything is cut out nicely. I got a little extra piece right here. I'm gonna take the, the knife and cut that. Let me turn this off, unplug it and put it up. So we're gonna see what's next. Where's my scissors at? Going to me crazy. I don't even know where it's at. I mess up my computer. All right, that part is done. Turn this off. Now it's time to get the hot glue out. Hot glue gun out. Find some white ribbon. I know I got some around here somewhere. Here's the white ribbon. And I'll be using... I think it was ten dollars. This is a little thicker roll that I'll be using. So, oh my sneaker! I'm just gonna pull out enough of it. I don't know exactly how much, but I'm just gonna cut off a nice piece of it. The hot glue is ready. Now it's time to put the shoestring together on the shoe and here's my ribbon like i said i cut it long because i'm not sure of what it is and i'm going to start with just which i started right here i'm just putting a little bit here to hold it down come on now hold it down there Put on another side, try to match it up with the holes that's in the sneaker. So I got the first holes done in the sneaker. As you can see, I got the holes down in the sneaker. That part is down. It's glued on both sides dry. And now I'm just going to crisscross it and bring it to the next set of holes. So you wanna match it up to where the string is. That way, it'll almost look like where it's sneak, where it's your string. And if it just start coming up, just add a little bit more glue and hold it down without burning your fingers. I think my fingers might be used to it. So I'm gonna put this one down here. And you don't wanna make it too tight. I don't want mine tight, but you see how it's coming out? Can you see the white? And once you think it's dry a little bit, once you think it's dry, can you see? Just pull it up and start crisscrossing again till you get to the next set uh, where the hole's supposed to be, which is right here so i'll just put a little bit of glue there and then i'm just gonna bring it down and hold it bring it down hold it take the other side put glue there bring it down and hold it once that's all done it's looking nice and neat you can see it, but it's white. Now that it's dry, I'm just going to crisscross it again and start over again. Not making it too tight, but bringing it down so I can put it right where I think the hole is. On both sides. Size giving that crisscross look once the glue dry, and then you just repeat that step again to get up here to the next set of holes because that's your guide. Put some right there, just stick it, flip it over, stick it. I'm gonna make my string a little smaller next time. And that's done. And you still got enough time to pull the string if it's too much gappy gap in there. And then you wanna crisscross again. 
bring it up again. And if it comes loose, just push some more glue under there and hold it in place. Because you don't want to come loose. Now, the ones I've seen on Google on how people did theirs, they didn't add any ribbon to theirs. So I want mine to be different. Mine's gonna be different because I'm gonna add the strings to it to make it look similar to like a real sneaker. So I'm almost finished. I'm gonna add this one here. Making sure it crisscross properly. And that's the end. This is the end part. Put it there. Let it hang down. Put some on this side. Let it hang down. That's all. Let it hang down like that. And then we're going to cut off. Sound like grandbaby about to go to sleep. We're going to cut it off at the edge of the sneakers. See how nice it is. I'm going to cut off this size. The video's over. My crafting group is called Crafting Together as One. That's on Facebook. Use the number one. Um, it's all done. Everything looks nice and neat. The curves are nice. If you get any glue around your edges, just wipe it with your hand because of that laminated sheet. It won't allow the glue really to stick on it. You can wipe it off. Thanks for finding my video. Don't look like this is even enough. If it's not even enough, just angle it out some more. So because it's not standing here, that means that little nipple right here needs to be shaved down. So I'm gonna use this and shave that little angle right there all. Give it that. Just cut the teeny bit off because I want it to, because she's going to buy some spinners for it. So it's still not quite even. Yep, so it don't hurt. Let's go in here. Make sure you get it as smooth as possible. And with the spinners anyway, what might happen, I might have to put a little hot glue, just a little hot glue on the spinner. It won't hurt it. It just has some hot glue on there. It just act like it don't want to stand up. But there we go. So when we do put these on the tables, they will have a little hot glue actually stick on the glass itself just to hold it down in place to keep it from falling down. But hope y'all like this video. Real simple and easy. Add the strings to it to give it that personal touch. Thanks for watching.